Hey guys, today it's um, Brian. I'm gonna show you a little fun with cards, a couple of cuts, and a magic trick at the end that I like to do a lot. So in this, in the beginning, I'm gonna just show off what a little a little cuts. You wanna, if you're a beginner, because I'm a beginner, I'm not that expert. I'm intermediate, you could say. So you just wanna learn a couple of things. First, the most important thing in a magician is pinky breaks and double lift. But I'll do that in another video. So what a pinky break is, say if you have a card, you're going to use the J of spades, you put it down on top of one neck, and then you put your pinky there, that way you always know where it is, so you can move all your other fingers but your pinky in it, then you just cover it up, and nobody can see it but you from the back, and then you make sure it's good, put it to the audience like this, and then they won't notice, and then you can decide it with your, since it's on this side, or if you're right or lefty, it depends. Cover with your other hand, that way they don't see it. See, can you guys see it? No? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, um, that's a pinky break. A thumb break is the same thing, but you take your other hand, or whatever hand you want, and then you just hold it like that. So it looks like that. Here's a side view. Yeah. And that's the basics of magic. Um, and there's a lot of other things, but I'll start covering them in other videos. So then what you want to do next, um, so, yeah, now we're going to go into cuts. Cuts are just like cutting the cards. Instead of like actually shuffling them and doing all that, you just cut them. And then do it slow or fast. See how fast that was? And then a false cut is when you have the top card. Or like say if they're in an the order, so like let me get the aces. So if you have the four aces on top, four aces, yeah, and then you leave them on top, and then false cuts are when you do, you make it appear as they're like went to the middle, but they really didn't. So one of them I learned from the third reality is you hold it like this, middle on top, down on the bottom, you take your you take your index finger and do a swing cut. Um, a swing cut is not that hard. I don't need to go in depth of it. You just hold it like this. Take your middle and then just move it to the side. But press down hard on your middle and thumb. Like really hard. That way they don't fall. Because then if you have an easy like. Well. Just, just make sure you have a grip with your middle and ring. Then you want to pull off. And then a false cut would be C. Do this. Do this that all this work and the four aces are still on top but for beginners I'm going to show you one I learned from disturb reality so what you do you hold it in the mechanics grip so basically you're if you're if you're a righty well I'm a righty this is my right but the camera flips it around I don't know why but yeah if you're a righty I use my left because this is my dominant hand so I use it to like move the card and stuff so then yeah you have your middle and ring on the right side of the deck so you have it like this for me this is the right side for you it's the left um but yeah and then your thumb is on the left side your index is on top and then your pinky is just loose so then what you're gonna want to do from a side view you grab half or one third of the bottom take it then you turn this to you so that way it's straight then you're gonna put this these pack on the left side on the bottom left side so like, and then it's like that. Then you could just pressure down with your, press down with your index and then hold it as again with the thumb on the bottom, ring on the top. Then what you could do now is from the bottom, take another packet off while still pressing hard and then put it on top of this one. So that way it's a staircase. Then for the final move, you let go of your index and you're still pinching down and then these two packets are being held by these fingers. And then you put this on top, so that way it goes, like it has a gap, then you just square it all up. And then the four aces are still on top. Yeah, that's one cut, and yeah, um, it's really not that hard. The part most of you might get stuck on is just holding it, how to hold it, and then putting it on the left. Uh, this part might be hard, you might like accidentally like, yeah, like you might mix the cards up, or like you might take it. And then 
it just falls or whatever and then you go like that and then it falls. But yeah, the base the point is you wanna know where your cards are. So like say look, see they're right here. Hold them, bottom. Take the bottom part out. This is how it would look like in full speed. Or like in my speed, because everybody has a different speed in magic. Put it here. And it looks like it's appealing. It's not the best um, false cut, but it's one of them. So that's one. Now I'm going to show you another one. Um, this is a regular cut you need to know. It's going to take some getting used to. See, most people say you need big hands, but you don't. I have decently small hands. See, this is, it takes up like a little bit. I don't have that super big hands. I have like decent hands. So what you're going to, this is called the Charlier cut. You can look up tutorials. I'm not going to really go in that depth. But basically, you hold it like this, so your middle and then your middle and ring on the right side again, thumb on the left, and then the same way I told you, but the pinkies on the bottom, your index is on top. So all your fingers are touching the deck, all of them. So what you're going to want to do is, um, let me see, got to show it from here. So what you're going to want to do is take your thumb, and then you could do this either two ways. You can either... Let your thumb just, like, you pick up your thumb. Instead of holding it straight, you tilt it a little bit. Like that. Or, as some people do, you can just take your index, pull it down. From here, what you're going to want to do, you're going to be in this position, so the cards are just going to be freely. You're going to you're gonna make sure your um pinky is on this side, that way. Because you want to have your hands in, like, a like a 70 degree position not 90 not straight like this but like in a sideways position that way the cards are leaning on this finger then what you want to do is take your index now I'm going to show you from here again take your index and then pull it up once you get to a certain point you're going to have to like make sure your cards are leaning against this so once you get here, you're going to let it go. But then these cards are going to hold on to it. And they're going to make sure your pinky, because if your pinky's not there, the cards can easily just fall out. See? So once you're in this position, once you're in this position, you're going to yeah let your thumb go on the top, because what you're going to want to be doing is holding it. But then you go up as much as you can with your index. And then once you can't reach no more, well, I can reach now. I couldn't before. Once you can't reach no more, you just let it go. And then you're you're going to rest the cards on your index, like on the nail almost. And then from there, you're going to let go. Your, you're still going to be holding on. Then you're going to let these cards fall on top. And then you're going to let go of your people. So on full speed, it looks like this. So release. Index push up. Thumb lets go. Your, these fingers are holding on to the card still. Pinky is still holding on to the deck because you're in a 70 degree position. Here you go. And then you, the cards, once you let go of your thumb for a split second, they're going to be solo. Put them on your nail of your index. Then you just press down with your thumb. And that's the Charlie Air cut. Yeah. And then that's one of the cuts you're going to need to know for like later and stuff. But I'm just showing you that now. Because I'm just showing you like how to get used to cards and all the tricks. But now I'm going to go back to false cut, so I'm going to keep switching up, like, from shuffle this. It's just going to be a random video. So now what you're going to want to do for another false cut, like the one I taught you earlier, this one. See, look, that might happen. You might lose the cards a little bit. But, yeah, keep practicing. Practicing makes perfect. And another one that I learned was... So you have it like this, or you can use two fingers, either one, whatever is comfortable for you. I prefer to use two fingers because it's more of a grip. Then you take your index, swing cut, all you're doing is that. Take it with your hand, or you could just, or if you're like a baby and you don't know how to do it, go. well I don't know any other way. But this is the one I'm used to. So hold, swing. Now you're going to want to swing again, but don't let go of it. What you're going to do now, you're going to be like this. What are you going to do? You see the back of your right hand? Because if you're a right, this is going to have it. 
Because this is my right hand, but on the video it flips it. So this is my left, this is my right. So on your right hand, on the back of it, you're going to want to um, turn it like this. So that way it's not like this no more. You want to put it straight. Then with your left thing, you're going to hold on tight to these cards. While you do that, you go to the back. The back of it, so you're gonna be like this. You're gonna go to the back. There's gonna be a little gap. Then you just press. So now it's only leading against your two index. You, you, so you swivel it around. So you take it from here. You move it across, and then you're gonna take. So you're gonna go up, and then your thumb and ring is gonna grab it, and then you're gonna let go. But make sure there's some space. So, and then you put your index there to separate them. So now you have one jogged up, one jogged down. And then you can just put the rest on top. Make sure it's like in the middle. So now you have like this. One is, one packet's down, one packet's up, one packet's down. Now what you're going to do with the Charlie ear cut that I taught you, you're going to want to take these cards, you push them up, so the top one, you push up, and then you're going to go like, and then you're going to go like this. Yeah, you're gonna push up, then you're gonna take it away. Now, now you're in position for a Charlie ear cut, and then you just do the Charlie ear cut. Uh, almost. Uh, hold on, I messed up. You see, I mess up even too sometimes. So do this, that, that. So once you're in this position, go up, take it. Now you can do a basic Charlie ear cut, and then from here you can do two things. You could be, you could be normal, and then just put it on top. And then the four aces, I think, should be on top still. No, they're not. But if you're trying to control a card or false cut, you're going to be in this. But you get what I mean. So once you're in, um. Now you can do one of two things. You can either just throw them down and then let these go on top. Or you can... I gotta go step by step for you guys, cause for beginners, for me this was extremely hard to learn, but now I got used to it. Or you could just throw it like a boss. So when you throw, all you do is just you have it like this, um, your ring and middle, and then on the back you just you might miss a lot. I missed a lot when I was first starting, but then once you get used to it, you can just start start from close, then you can do it from farther away. Yeah, you get the point. You could be fancy. And that's it for this part one. Um, I'm sorry if I was a little sloppy. Remember, I'm a beginning. I'm new to YouTube. Haven't done a lot of videos. My channel is random. Yeah, um, like, subscribe, comment. If you think I'm terrible, tell me I'm terrible. If you think I'm okay, tell me I'm okay. If you want to give me advice, yeah, give me anything. This was just like how to me, I how I started out with cards and what I had to learn to do magic. Okay, guys, see you in the next video.